a, a lot of success over the years for Wasabi Ventures. Jesse, uh, you're a new face here from the standpoint of uh, being involved in the Haskell. Congratulations on being here first and foremost. And if you don't mind, just kind of maybe introduce the people who may not be familiar with you. Tell them a little bit about your background and how long you've been training and, and uh, everything about coming to Monmouth Park. Um, yeah, I uh, grew up in Charlestown, West Virginia. Uh, my mom was a single parent for most of my life, so an assistant trainer. So I spent a lot of time at the barn. Um, sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Here's the good news. I'm nervous too, and I'm sweating. So at least you're not sweating, so don't worry about the thing. Get a little close to the microphone, get comfortable. It's like we're talking in front of you. Yeah, no, we, uh, so I grew up on the backside. Uh, started galloping horses when I was 16. Knew that that's what all I wanted to do was train horses. Um, I went out on my own when I was 23. So I'm 28 now, and I got my first starter in the Haskell, so it's, it's pretty cool. Let's talk about your horse, Benavengo, a son of Gormley, who really had a very nice victory here over the track uh, toward the end of June, wire to wire. Um, and, uh, you know, he had, he had actually been claimed for $25,000. Tell us a little bit about this horse's career. He's three for four lifetime, but in his uh, mile in the 16th race, he had a, a poor performance in the slot. Let's talk about that first. In the Long Grand Stakes, he, he ended up finishing fourth, and uh, he was soundly defeated, but he came out of that race with a dramatic improvement. Let's talk about that race, and was it the slot, or you know, is he just growing and developing, and, and uh, you know, tell us about your whole time with this horse, please. Uh, you know, coming to, uh, to the Long Branch, I think there was a lot of things going on, actually. Uh, you know, first off, we had a ship from Tampa up to here, so that's a big ask. First time stretching out around two turns for him. And honestly, I think I thought, thought a little bit too much into it. Me and Isaac both kind of felt we're worried about him with a lot of speed that he had, that he kind of get away on the front end and he wanted to run off. So our instructions were to kind of break and take a hold of him. And then he got in behind horses, kind of checked a bunch of times going around the first turn, you know, checked again at the 3 8 bowl, and he just ran a kind of even race from there. Um, just happy that he came out of that race in good order. From that point to now, he's almost a completely different horse. He's, uh, he's grown a lot, he's put on a lot of muscle. Uh, he trained really well into that other then you know we had our face older horses and we kind of going into that race honestly our instructions in the paddock where we thought we were the best horse and i just told him to put him in the race and you know if he's good enough to keep going and he you know kind of actually still ran a little green there waited on some horses on the back side and then when, when some horses came to him he regrouped and then kind of kicked away from him down the line look there's an old expression you got to be in it to win it so you're facing four grade one winners this is a huge step up, and we appreciate you taking the shot. That's what the dream is all about. How soon after that win did you start to think along the lines of being in the TVG.com house? Uh, I don't know. It wasn't that soon after. You know, he's no different than any other horse in the barn. Uh, in the sense of after a race, we make sure they come back in good order uh, before we really start looking at something else. I, you know, I haven't been there enough to say, okay, I won this race. I'm going to point to a great one. Like, you know, that's not how my, what my mindset was, but he came out of the race in really good order, started training well. Uh, he's had two super works over the track here since then. And uh, it wasn't, you know, immediately, but I don't know, maybe two weeks or so afterwards, we started thinking, okay, let's see who's coming and go from there. And obviously it's a, a tremendous tough race. And so Jack Christopher and uh, Cyber Knight and some other horses are obviously great horses. Uh, Mr. Roman's horses. Uh, Improving in every race, just the same as our horse. So I, we understand, we know this is a huge, a huge step up from where we're at. But the horse is doing well. Um, you know, we we get to lead him right out of his own stall and lead him over a track that he's already won over. So, uh, like I said, we're excited to, to just be here and have the opportunity. And our horse is, you know, going to be as prepared as he can be. Twenty-eight years old. What would it mean for you to uh, pull off the upset here in the PBG.com house? I I kind of told somebody the other day thinking about it, it mean a lot but the biggest thing for me would just be uh i'd be thankful for all the people that have helped give me here uh my entire table back there is all people that have helped me each and every day everybody back home in charlestown um it just would mean a lot to make all those people proud all right you should be proud of yourself but congratulations on coming in and best of luck on saturday man. Awesome.